So today I'll be talking about some silly mistakes that mass advanced students, and in fact all mass students, are typically very prone to in the final exam. Silly mistakes hurt because they're really marks that you don't deserve to lose, but we're all going to be there one day, and these are just like a few that you should definitely be on the lookout for. So firstly, silly mistakes in basic computations and basic algebra. So for example, you might have accidentally expanded a bracket wrong, you might have accidentally dropped a negative as you went along, or in the worst case scenario, your x somehow turned into a different letter, like say y, and then all of your subsequent computations get messed up and you can't find what your problem is and you can't prove what you're trying to prove. So you really don't want to be in that situation because that can be a huge time waster and moral of the story for that one is pretty much always check your answers as you go. Number two, hinted earlier, spending too long on a question. Remember, the clock is going to be ticking during the exam. You're not going to be able to do every question unless the paper just happens to be really easy for you. So if you really think you spend too long on a question, move on and come back to it later when you actually have more of an opportunity to because there's probably marks later on that you can actually get more easily. Number three, little silly mistakes like forgetting a plus C or forgetting your units. You don't want to be there because those marks, you can get deducted, but trust me, those are the worst marks ever to lose. They're probably even worse than like basic algebra errors. And then number four, assuming something you're not given. So you might look at a diagram and I think, oh, okay, well, that looks like a right angle there or that looks like a diameter of a circle, but it turns out it just very narrowly isn't. And then, whoops, you've just been baited. So as a moral of the story to that one, the stuff that you can assume will be given to you in text. It will literally be said word for word what you can assume, either that or you've proven it in a previous part. If you don't have any of those, don't make any false assumptions. And finally, number five, I think the big one is that some students assume that a typical question must fall in the umbrella of only one topic. Never fall for this trap. Always be cautious of the possibility that one question may actually require you to draw concepts from multiple other topics as well. Thanks, everyone.